Mom, I'm gonna fail. I can't do this. Mom, this needs to be perfect or isn't right. Mom, I don't want to do that right now. I'm not feeling good. Do you hear these phrases in your house too? Stop what you're doing and let me grab your attention because these phrases are warning signs. These phrases can be the onset of anxiety. Anxiety is not a phase and helping your child early can make a huge difference later when they become young adults. Anxiety is not just feeling nervous or worrying. Anxiety is not just nail biting or tapping your pencil on a desk. Anxiety comes in many forms. It is trouble concentrating, it is trouble sleeping, avoiding, loss of appetite, increased irritability, restlessness, overeating, feelings of guilt and shame. Anxiety can be perfectionism or procrastination. The list goes on. Anxiety is so much more than many people realize because everyone shows anxiety a little differently. Now, in its basic form, anxiety is when your child starts worrying consistently and the worrying becomes a habit. And once a behavior becomes a habit, we begin to lose control of what we do. See, our body goes into an auto mode instead. And with anxiety, our mind tells our body that there is danger in here and the anxiety kicks in to protect ourselves. Now, worry sets in and makes our body want to flee or escape the situation or avoid the threat. But the problem is, is that many times there's no danger and really your mind is talking untruthfully to you. So how can we help our kids avoid getting into this anxiety trap? Well, we need to help them change their mindset and how they think. This isn't easy. If their minds are trying to protect them from danger, then we must reprogram their brains not to overreact to false threats. And teaching kids to control their thoughts will result in them also learning how to control their actions. I offer a course that will help you and your child walk through what is needed to really get results. However, if you follow me consistently, you also know I will not leave you hanging today with no answers. So here are some things you can do right now to help your child start retaking control of their body again. The first one, teach them to count backwards when they start to feel those butterflies in their stomach. See, the idea here is to activate their prefrontal cortex, which is the logical side of their brain. This is done by stopping the emotional thought that causes the onset of anxiety and doing something like counting backwards. Now, there are several other techniques that you can use, but counting backwards, five, four, three, two, and one is one of the easiest. Then, once the counting is done, tell your child to finish this, this sentence. I'm excited to blink. And think of a happy thought. The objective is to train your child to stop the negative thoughts that make them anxious and then refocus. The negative thoughts will not go away, but the goal is not to let worry take over entirely and to stabilize the body's reaction to worry by providing the brain with an alternative positive thought. Tip number two, don't minimize their feelings by saying things like, oh, everything is fine, just calm down, or you're overreacting. Instead, start asking them questions and keep asking questions that will force your child to evaluate their thinking and debunk those irrational thoughts. For example, you can ask, what evidence do you have that something terrible is going to happen? What is the probability of the unfortunate happening? What can you do to ensure that nothing bad will happen? So you keep asking questions while you go for a little walk, so that you can activate their logical thinking again. And tip number three, praise your child wildly for their achievements, for being brave and staying in control of their emotions. Point out their successes, because to gain confidence and replace their unwanted habit of worry with confidence, your child will have to repeatedly control their thoughts. Practice and repetition are how they will build their new habits. Now, I wish that eliminating anxiety was as easy as one, two, and three simple steps, but it's not. So for more comprehensive support and help, check out the behavior management course, Helping Children Control Their Emotions. I offer a free webinar 
that talks about the course and gives you a step-by-step -step framework that you need to start seeing change. Plus, just for taking the time to watch the video, I also include a free PDF called 20 Ways to Cope. Because these 20 plus coping techniques are researched and tested to work for helping kids with anxiety. This is my gift to you so you can start helping your kids right away even if you find that the course is not for you. So help your child overcome their anxiety right now.